Okay, let's uh, finish this off now. Um, as you can obviously guess from all of this, you see that the seven years on our timeline here ends here, and we have the a hundred. We have the hundred and one thousand two hundred ninety days of Daniel ending here. Um, but then it says, "Blessed is he who comes after the hundred and one thousand three hundred." 35 days so blessed is the one and of course everything on our timeline ends here uh, as you can see this is December 2021 and <coughs> we have a a lunar a solar a total solar eclipse here on December the 4th now at the end of all these things Jesus Christ will return and he'll defeat the evilness he'll he'll do away with all the evil people and all, the Antichrist and the and the dragon and the false prophet and all their people and all their angels and all their demons and all the bad people that have followed the Antichrist and took the mark of the beast the RFID chip and decided to be a part of that and not turn to God and not repented they'll all get slain so let's start off with scripture so um, if you remember in the vials uh, the bowl judgment vials have been poured out here and um, during the scripture it actually says that um, for, that he's going to gather them in that place called Armageddon so during that vial period you know, sort of like this period. What's going to happen is this period. What's going to happen is they're going to go out, and it also says this as well: that three unclean spirits come out of their mouths, and they go out to deceive the kings of the earth to gather them to battle on that great day of God the Almighty. So they go and try and <coughs> bring the whole world against. Jesus Christ return in a battle um, hoping to win it but as you can see from the scripture of truth let's just go to um, Revelation 19 now uh, everyone's rejoicing in heaven because they're all saved and everyone on earth's probably reeling from these wraths these bold judgments these terrible supernatural things that are happening to them on earth and here it says when he comes and I saw heaven opened and behold a white horse and he that sat upon the horse was called faithful and true and in righteousness he doth he doth judge and make war his eyes were like a flame of fire and his head had many crowns and he had a name written which no one knew but himself and he was clothed in a vesture dipped with blood and his and his name is called the Word of God. Now, obviously, Jesus Christ was the Word of God, and obviously, you see, from he uh, had a, eyes of flame. He had eyes like a flame of fire. Well, this describes him in um, Revelation when it first starts. He uh, eyes like a flame of fire, and his face is like the uh, sun shining in full strength. Uh, and the armies which were in heaven see all these people which are saved these aren't you know physical people these is like spiritual so they've been the the, the dead the you know the dead who come back to coming back alive with him um followed him on white horses clothed in fi fine willing linen white and clean and out of his mouth come a sharp two sharp sword that with that it that with it he should smite the nations and he shall rule them with a rod of iron and he treadeth the winepress of the fierceness of wrath of God the Almighty and he have on his vesture and on his thigh a name written King of King and Lord of Lords and I saw an angel standing in the sun and he cried with a loud voice saying to all the fowls that fly in the midst of heaven come and gather yourselves together unto the supper of the great God that they that ye might eat the flesh of kings and the flesh of captains <coughs> so this 
Angel is proclaiming that the birds are going to be eating flesh of kings. Well, like I just said, the dead are in the spirit realm, untouchable, imperishable. So this is referring to people that are still left on earth. That once they die, that the birds are going to eat their bodies. And the flesh of captains, and the flesh of mighty men, and the flesh of horses, and of them that sit on them, and the flesh of men, both free and bond, both small and great. And I saw the beast, who is the Antichrist, William, and the kings of the earth, and their armies gathered together to make war against him that sat on the horse, and against his army. But listen, listen to the word of truth. This is all written. It doesn't matter what anyone thinks. And if anyone thinks they're going to overcome this, escape it or somehow trick, it's not going to work. And, it, you know, if anyone thinks the false messiah is going to be so great, you know, that he's going to rule. Well, listen, and the beast, the Antichrist, William, was taken. Taken, and with him, the false prophet, Francis, that brought miracles before him, which with which he deceived them that had t received the mark of the beast and them that w which worshipped his image these both were cast alive into the lake of fire burning with brimstone and the remnant were slain that means the armies or anyone else that's with him were slain with the sword of him which sat on the horse which sword proceeded out of their mouths, and all the fowls were filled with their flesh. So all the birds will eat their. So basically, Christ is just gonna kill their spirit. Basically, they're just gonna die on their feet. That's it. You know, our spirit is like an electrical charge. Like people, when you get you go to the hospital, you get an electrical poof, charge. You know, people think, well, the electrical charge is what keeps you alive, and that is your spirit. So. Christ is going to cut off your electrical spirit, you know, with the sword that comes out of his mouth. Your eternal life is going to stop at that point. Your body's going to fall to drop to the floor, and the birds are going to eat your flesh. Now, the ones that were followed in Christ, which died, their spirit, electrical charge, is still alive. And they come with him down to the earth to kill those and eventually um, they will dwell with Christ and reign with him for a thousand years and, the, and these dead people won't live again their eternal spirit will be off they, they, won't, know, they won't know what's they won't even know that they're being dead so let's try and go ahead and put a few of these things in so here's a picture of Christ obviously sitting on a horse and then yet yeah, you can see in the distance armies gathered together ready to make uh, you know war with him so we can go ahead and put this into our timeline now I just wanna stick this in about there now what you might be saying to yourself is alright alright just what you know what's the point in that well we have the end of the seven we have the seven year comet coming back around we also have a, a total solar eclipse now I don't know how that will affect anything but I will re re reveal to you a mystery do you remember it says that the gate um, he sorry heaven was opened well heaven will be opened by the gates which are the golden gates of heaven now check this out now there is actually a thirteenth um, star sign it's called uh, Othiusk or something along them. I can't really pronounce it. It's one of them words I just can't pronounce. Uh, and it's known Othiusk, and it's also known as the Serpent Bearer. Now, what I want to do is just put this in here. Now, Othiusk. For Ophiusk are actually November the 30th to December the 17th. Now this is when the um, sun will be will be moving through the um, constellation. So 
So we could actually go ahead and we can put in here the 1st to the 17th of December as the date. Now I want to show you something else and that's that this constellation actually has a nickname. See here as the sun passes through well when the sun gets into this area which it does on December it is called the golden gate you know like the golden gate of heaven so it's funny that you know as as we go into as this timeline ends the sun is going into the golden gate of heaven constellation so I think we should add a golden gate image to our timeline and like I say the gates of heaven were opened and there stood and there was a white horse and the one sat on it was ready to make war with them it's dwell on the earth I just found it amazing that like I say the, the sun goes into this constellation here which is known as the golden gate and revelation says that the gates of heaven were opened and there stood one on a white horse and it all comes to end bang right on the end of the seven years I mean is this is this true I mean what is what's this lunar eclipse got to do with anything I'm not sure you know speculation it could go dark rotation of the earth could stop let's say and the moon could cover the sun so it was completely dark I don't know but I do know this timeline and um, you know that's it is what it is and something else I just want to add <coughs> because there's a lot of people that say this when people try and get their prophecies across no man knows the day or the hour they keep saying now that's true no one knows the the day or the hour and you know I, this agrees with it because if you see Otheus lasts for 17 18 days so who knows what day or hour it will be but Jesus did not say no one knows the year or the month he said no one knows the day or the hour and I don't but he's coming he's coming so this pretty much wraps up you know our timeline that we've been creating um, I hope you've enjoyed it the ones that have been following with me um, I will I will be doing like a a tidy up as you can see it's a bit messy but I will be doing a big tidy up of it and then um, hopefully it will be presentable in image form so that people can view it on an image if they haven't um, got access to view videos um, like you say no one really knows the exact dates But uh, you know we can have a we can have a good guess. You can try, you can fail. You know people might say you're a false prophet. Well, in the Bible it says that if a man makes a prophecy and it does not come to pass, then you should not be afraid of that person. Thanks for watching everyone, um, God bless you all, I love you all, Amen.